people do not have roofs over their head after eight years of this Prime Minister. Housing costs have doubled. Toronto is the worst housing bubble in the world. And Canada has the worst mortgage bubble uh, in the entire OECD after eight years of his policies. That's why nearly four million people on X alone have watched my groundbreaking and much acclaimed documentary, Housing Hell, How We Got Here and How We Will Get Out. Will the Prime Minister become the four millionth Canadian to watch this documentary so he can see a common sense plan to reverse the housing hell that he's caused? While the Conservative leader focuses on clickbaits and views, we're focused on building homes for Canadians. Mr. Speaker, it's funny, he released a video the very same day of him in a starter home pretending that he was a real estate agent, but in reality everyone laughed because they know that he's doubled the housing cost. He mean, he's delivered an economy where we have the fewest homes per capita of any country in the G7, even though we have the most land to build on. And Toronto is the now the worst housing bubble in the world after eight years of this Prime Minister. So that's why I'm putting partisanship aside and offering the Prime Minister and the Liberal caucus a private screening of my documentary. Will the Prime Minister put his ego aside and join with me personally to take in this documentary, Housing Hell, How We Got In and How We Get Out of It? While the Conservative leader focuses on clickbait and views, we're going to focus on building Canadians more homes. He did try to make a video. It was a total failure. His videos don't get clicks and his houses don't have bricks. Yeah. <laughs> After eight years, that's why housing costs have doubled. He shouldn't have to read his entire answer. I'm offering to inform him. If he would just take 15 minutes away from his photo ops, he can watch my brilliant documentary on X or brilliant. YouTube with a common sense plan to require cities permit 15% more homes, give them bonuses if they exceed the target, require housing around every federally funded transit station, and sell off 6,000 buildings. This is common sense. That's not a plan to build more housing, but he has demonstrated that he's extremely satisfied with his ability uh, to spread misinformation and disinformation online, which, yes, I will admit, he's very good at. On this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, we're focused on delivering solutions for Canadians. We're focused on building more housing for Canadians, not focused on self-aggrandizement like the leader of the opposition. Mr. Speaker, he is the king of self-aggrandizement, as evidenced by the fact that he's now attacking my much-acclaimed documentary when he claims he hasn't even watched it. How would he know about the, so the common-sense solutions if he hasn't had the attention span to sit there for 15 minutes on YouTube or X and watch it, Mr. Speaker? We'll even try to get it on TikTok so that he can find it. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, it includes a common-sense plan to cut bureaucracy and taxes so that we can bring it home. Yeah, yeah, yeah.